UV radiation. What is it? How many kinds are there? And which ones want to kill you? Find out! Welcome to Destructive Creativity. I'm glad you're here. This channel exists for you, for fun, and for science. So if any of those things appeal to you, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Today we are talking about UV radiation. So initially I was going to do an episode on sunburns, about exactly what happens in your skin when you get a sunburn, but then I realized that there's just a depth of knowledge there that I need to cover before we dive straight into that cool topic. And that is, what is UV radiation? UV radiation is on the light spectrum. Specifically, it's just off to the side of visible light. UV radiation is produced by the sun, and it comes in four forms. There's the two most common that you're probably familiar with, UVA and UVB. Then there's also UVC, which really, really wants to kill you, and then there's UV vacuum, but we're not really going to talk about that because those UV rays can only exist in a vacuum setting. UV radiation was discovered in 1801 by Johann Wilhelm Ritter. <clears throat> Specifically, he realized there was an invisible force that was darkening his silver chloride and he was like, Aha! I know! There is something in the light! Now, our eyes can only see the visible spectrum of light, specifically a very, very small portion of the radiation that the sun emits. So, everything you see around you is just the visible spectrum of light being reflected and bounced into your eye. If you lengthen the wavelength of the light just a little bit, you get infrared light. And we can't see infrared, but it's far more common than the visible spectrum. Also more common than the visible spectrum, at least in space, is ultraviolet. That's if you were to squish down those visible light rays, if you were to make the wavelengths a little bit more closer together, that's ultraviolet light. And that's what we're going to be talking about today. UV radiation really just wants to kill everything. But we have some incredible defense mechanisms to prevent ourselves from just kind of being ripped apart by the sun's radiation. And we'll get to that into a future episode, but for now, let's focus on those UVC rays. Now, UVC is part of the UV spectrum that has the closest wavelengths together, which means there's more energy in UVC rays than there are in UVB and UVA. But that also means that it can't penetrate as far. So if it were to hit my skin, it would instantly kill pretty much everything it touched. But that would be it. It would, yeah, it would kill, it would burn, it would, it would create a layer of dead skin, but then that dead skin would just continue to absorb that UVC radiation, and yeah, it would be bad, but that's about it. Now, that's not a good thing. If the UVC rays were able to hit the Earth, then pretty much every time you went outside, you would lose all of the upper layer of your skin. So thankfully, the ozone layer completely absorbs all of the UVC radiation that wants to come and kill you. So that's UVC. What about UVB radiation? Well, the UVB radiation is still high energy. Now, don't get me wrong, it still wants to kill you, but it's not quite as dangerous as UVC radiation. UVB radiation is responsible for the sunburns that you feel. UVA radiation is the closest to visible light spectrum that we have on that side of the spectrum. And 95% of all ultraviolet radiation that reaches the Earth is UVA. It's also the least harmful, maybe? Eh? The science is still unsure about whether or not UVA radiation is cancer-forming or just kind of annoying. So how much of sunlight is ultraviolet radiation? Because we look outside, we can't see it, uh, we can detect it, and we can certainly feel the painful sunburns when it happens to us, but how much is it? Approximately 10% of everything that the sun emits is ultraviolet radiation, meaning that the wavelength of the light is in that specific section. When you go outside, 10% of the light is not ultraviolet radiation. Thankfully, it's much lower than that. Nearly 100% of all UVC radiation, you know, the really dangerous stuff, is blocked by the ozone layer in the atmosphere. And nearly 90% of UVB radiation, which is still dangerous, is blocked by the atmosphere, leaving UVA radiation as the majority of the ultraviolet light that makes it to Earth. Both of these UV rays, UVA and UVB, 
reach Earth in different ways. So, for example, cloud cover blocks most of the UVA radiation, but very little of the UVB. Uh, glass blocks almost 100% of UVB, but not UVA. Water is much more efficient at blocking UVB than UVA, and pretty much every material reacts differently, including your skin. This has been a brief overview and maybe slightly simplistic version of what UV radiation actually is. But this is a necessary groundwork to lay down before we dive into our next topic next week, which is sunburns. What are they, and what happens to your skin when it gets exposed to UVA and UVB radiation? For Destructive Creativity, I am Jonathan Allers. Good to see you. If you like this, smash that like button. Hope to see you soon.